Hello, mathematicians. This is Mr. Almeida, and I am here today to talk to you about a very uh, interesting topic in mathematics that sometimes gets a bad rap because I don't think it's really understood, but I think this video will help you to clarify uh, some key points about division. So division is seen as this, um, this fourth operation that you learn about, and there's some confusion, but I think this video will help to uh, clarify a lot of points. So the first thing I wanted to let you know is that there are actually two ways to think about division. And division is actually thought about because of what we know about multiplication. So if you understand multiplication, then you're really going to have a deep understanding of division. So let's get to what division is really all about. The first thing to think about is we want to give a definition to what division is. And division is simply a missing factor problem. So with multiplication, the numbers that we use to multiply with are called factors, and if we were multiplying, we'd be wanting to find a product. But we're not trying to find a product, we're trying to find a missing factor. And one property of multiplication is that um, the two numbers that you're multiplying have different meanings, and they can change positions. Uh, that's the commutative property. Um, but I want to get into what the actual meaning of this first number in a multiplication statement is and what the meaning of this second number is in a multiplication statement. So in a multiplication problem, you'd typically be thinking about this. You'd be seeing that there's a number of groups that have some particular size and have some value. When you take your number of groups, of a certain size and you put them together, what value do you get? So that is what this is about. So multiplication, you'd have some number times some other number equaling some value. Now, in multiplication, this first number always tells you the number of groups that there are. And this number right here tells you the size of the group that you're making. And then, of course, when you put them all together, you get a total value or some value. So let's give an example. Say we have 5 times 3 equals 15. So this means that I have 5 groups of 5. So let me show that. I have 5 groups. So I have one group, two groups, three groups, four groups, and five groups. And the size of each group is three. So there's three there, three, 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 and three. And if I put these all together, then I would get um, 15. Now, if this first number uh, is missing, because remember division is a missing factor problem, so one of these is going to be missing. If I don't know how many groups of a certain size 3 there are to make 15, I would, try, I would be trying to figure out how many groups of 3 there are in 15. And if you think about this, this, uh, this drawing right here, this visual model, I actually can see the actual um, size of the units. So I can think of this, this bar right here as a bar of 3. So I can think of it as a ruler. If I think of it as a ruler, I know what I'm counting by. I'm counting by 3's. My goal is to figure out how many groups of 3 I can actually count by. That right there is what we call measurement division. Because the question is, how many groups of 3 are in 15? And that division question is written just like this. How many groups of 3 are in 15? And the answer to that question is there are 5 groups. 
And this is what we call the measurement interpretation. And interpretation is a way of thinking about division um, or thinking about something. So this is the measurement interpretation of division. So measurement is like a ruler. I know what the, what the length is or the measurement that I'm counting by. I just want to figure out how many of these are in my entire dividend, the total. Okay, So that's measurement division. The next kind of division isn't asking us uh, to find the number of groups. It's asking us to find the size of each group. So in this case, I know the number of um, groups that I'm going to have. I'm going to have five groups and I want to find the size of each group and I know I'm going to end up with 15. So the model would look like this. I model 15 and I'm making five equal groups. So I model 15, this whole thing is 15, and I have five groups. I want to know what is the size of this one part right here. That is what we call the partitive measurement, uh, the partitive uh, interpretation of division. So that's, I'm trying to find the size. I know I have five groups. Here are my five groups. One group, two groups, three groups, four groups, five groups but I want to find what size each group is. And you can think of partitive because you want to find the size of a part, um, and that should help you to understand partitive. So partitive division is, isn't asking you um, how many groups, it's asking uh, five groups of what size are 15. And that would still be 15 divided by um, 3 equals 5. Because now I'm trying to find the size of each group. And the size of each group would be 3. So again, this would be the number of groups that I have, and this is the size of each group. And because division has two factors that make up a product, um, Division actually has two meanings, because if you're missing the first factor, you're trying to find the number of groups it takes of a certain number you're counting by uh, to get to your uh, total. And in partitive, you already know uh, how many parts you have, but you don't know what size they are. So you know a certain number of parts make up a total, but you don't know the size of one part. And that's the two meanings of division. Having a deep understanding of what these two meet, what the two meanings of division are, will help you when you're dividing. In particular, in this video series, we're going to continue on with the next video of dividing fractions. Um, so this would help you to understand that idea. But this video is crucial and important to understand before you move on to dealing with fractions. Hope you enjoyed this video, and if you have any questions, please uh, s send some comments below or. Um, or reach out to your teammates. Have a good one.